I find it a fascinating novel because I, I think that Huxley belongs to a very rare breed of uh, novelists in that he's both a philosopher and also a storyteller. He clearly had a very restless mind and like so many authors in his generation, he was someone that had a magpie-like interest in lots of different philosophies and ideas and lived in a time of enormous change where Europe in the post-war years and the you know, aftermath also of the Great Depression, was going through huge intellectual turmoil and uh, we saw governments and, and um, prevailing kind of belief systems, you know, change year in, year out. So this is a man that clearly delights in both intellectual debate, but also lives in a very exciting and uncertain time that wants to harness so many of the different ideas of that time into um, the characters at the heart of his novel. As such, it does mean that um, the protagonists within the book keep changing, and we also see um, a storytelling that is restless and inconsistent. And so uh, it's been a wonderful book, I think, to dip in and out of as well, and actually Whilst when I first read it, I read it straight through, and over the last few years, coming back to it, I've done the same again. I found it very, very helpful in the work that we've done to support Dawn's process, picking it up and reading it a chapter at a time, and actually sometimes reading it back to front, because I do think that the way in which Huxley stitches it together is a bit like a kind of literary patchwork quilt.